Auto Horn would like to thank you for hiring our motorhome. We have created this short video to guide you through how to use the equipment and features so you can make the most of your brain. Once you've arrived at your destination and you've chosen your pitch, a quick glance should tell you if you need to use the leveler ramps. If these are required, then place the ramps in front of the wheels that need to be raised and drive forward onto the ramps very slowly. Once level, apply the handbrake. Remove the outside boiler flue cover which is located just behind the driver's door. We recommend that you put this on the dashboard as a reminder to replace it when you leave. For ease of access into the motorhome, pull out the exterior step which is located under the side door. Once you've connected the cable to the site supply, make sure the motorhome main isolating switch is off. This is located just above the steps as you enter the motorhome. You can then connect the cable to the power inlet. Place any surplus cable under the motorhome, ensuring that it is not coiled up, and then turn on the main isolating switch. There are three switches on the control panel. These are the pump switch on the left. When this is on, the pump will provide water to the taps and shower. In the middle is the water switch, which when depressed, the water level in the fresh water tank will be shown by the gauge above. On the right is one labelled AUX and VEH. When this is in the VEH position, the motorhome's 12 volt system is being powered by the vehicle battery. When it is in the AUX position, it is being powered by the auxiliary battery or the 12 volt charger if the motorhome is connected to a 230 volt supply. There is also a green light that indicates when the pump is running and a red light that indicates when the waste tank is full and requires emptying. To use the gas, you need to open both the valve at the top of the bottle and turn the main supply tap to the on position. When changing the bottle, switch off both of these valves and disconnect the pipe, remembering to turn it clockwise to unscrew. Reconnect to the new bottle, ensuring a tight fit and that the bottles are secure. Then both valves should be opened again. When filling the water tank, simply connect the hose pipe to a fresh water supply. The tank holds 45 litres, but take care not to overfill the tank. It is advised that someone monitors the water level when filling is in progress. You can also access the fresh water from outside the motorhome from the blue tap. To empty the waste water, position the grey waste outlet over a drain, open the tap and the water will run out. The motorhome has your everyday household equipment fitted which work off a choice of power supplies. The fridge freezer has an energy selector switch on the left hand side. When driving, select the battery symbol and the fridge will run off the vehicle battery. Once you are on site, you can choose between gas and the mains power. If you choose to run the fridge on gas, select the flame symbol, turn the gas control knob on the right to maximum and depress. When the gas ignites, a flame will be seen in the viewing port inside the fridge on the bottom left hand side. Alternatively, you can select the mains power. When using the cooker, Ensure that the glass lid is always up, and if you're using the grill, you must keep the door open. Select and turn the individual gas tap that you wish to light to maximum. Depress at the same time as the ignition switch. If you need the heater, turn the control knob on the top to full. Depress at the same time as repeatedly depressing the ignition switch until you see the pilot light. Make sure everyone knows it is on to avoid anyone touching it as it gets very hot. If you would like to watch the TV or a DVD, plug into the 12 volt power socket next to the aerial point. Turn on, 
sit back and enjoy. Please keep the TV stored away when not in use to avoid theft. To operate the boiler, ensure that the water tank has been filled. Turn the dial to the desired temperature. To run off the gas, move the outer dial to the flame symbol. A green light is visible in the switch. If it fails to light, this will change to red. If this happens, wait 30 seconds and try again. Alternatively, the boiler can run off the main supply. Just depress the electric switch next to the control knob. The rear seating lounge area at night turns into one of your double beds. Fold away the table if it is in use and store. Then you have room to make the bed from the surrounding cushions. Pull out the centre support and place the backrest cushions in the centre. The dining area also turns into a double bed. Again, remove the table and store away. Lift up the side extensions, pull out the bed slats and fill in the gaps using the spare cushions provided. The final double bed is over the cab. Simply pull down to the horizontal position and attach the ladder, checking that it is secure before climbing. Before using the toilet, fill the water tank which is located outside the toilet with fresh water and additive. When using the toilet, open the valve blade just under the seat, flush after use and close the valve blade. To empty the waste, remove the cassette from the outer door locker by releasing the base catch. Take to a waste tank disposal point, remove the cap and press the air release button near the handle before you tilt the tank to empty the contents. Rinse well and add chemical solution, replace cap and fold arm away. Slide back into the locker ensuring the cassette lid slides back in and clicks into place. Before you leave we would suggest that you run through the following checklist. Please ensure that the fridge door is locked and items are carefully stored away and all cupboards are locked to avoid flying open when travelling. Check that all power leads are disconnected and stored away. Empty the flush tank by flushing then empty and clean out the waste cassette. Empty the water tank and waste water tank. Turn off the gas at the bottle and the electric from the main switch. And ensure that the windows and doors are closed and locked. Also check that the exterior step is put away and don't forget the level as if you've used them. Prior to returning the motor home, Remember to remove all your items from the fridge and cupboards. We ask that you return it in a similar condition to when it left, so ensure that all cutlery and cooking items are cleaned and put away and the living area and shower room have been cleaned. We hope you have thoroughly enjoyed your holiday and that this video has helped you get the most from your experience. Within the motorhome we have left the handbook for you to refer to and there is also a 24 hour emergency help number if needed. Autohorn also offer car and van rental and contract hire and leasing for businesses and personal use throughout the UK. To find out how we can help you or your business save money, just give us a call. We are always happy to help.